So including today's uploads, the next three bunches of uploads that I do will be the little filler arc that I'm assuming is all going to be this. So it's going to be two weeks of combined filler and then we are right back into the juicy juicy good stuff. So for those of you that are enjoying the filler and are happy I'm watching it, I'm glad you guys are able to enjoy this. I hope you do enjoy this. And for those of you who are skipping this and are just waiting for the good juicy stuff, I completely understand. Just know that it's only two weeks away and enjoy the rest of the other shows while you wait. It, it's going to be some fun time. Come on, it's going to be some Black Clover. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius, and like I said, we are at back at it again with Black Clover and some filler. I am excited, I don't know what this arc is going to be, I don't know what about this filler compared to the anime canon versus like the manga canon, obviously the manga canon is official canon, that happened, that's in the manga, we know that was what happened, but I wonder what the difference between the filler and the anime canon is, I, you know, I'm sure you guys will let me know. But, so like I said, I have no idea what this arc is going to be about. This episode is called Those Remaining. This is 142 and 143. The next episode is called The Tilted Scale. That might be with Damnatio, because he has the whole scale. I really have no idea. But, I am excited to hop into this. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, all that is available on the Patreon for episodes ahead. Links are in the description, like always. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop into this right now. Black Clover, episodes 142 and 143. This one is called Those Remaining. Let's do this. This is a town I don't think we've seen before. A very mundane town found in the common room. Interesting. <laughs> Every time they play this song, I always think it's a flashback, and I always love the song though. Seems to be a doctor or scientist of some sort. Yep. I wonder what their relation... But he'll be home soon. I wonder if this is like an estranged daughter, estranged relative. I wonder if the he they're talking about is her husband in terms of the doctor. You don't need to go all the way back to the kitchen to reheat it. Spatial magic deer, flame magic mother. So mother is flame magic. It looks like lover has spatial magic. Can she take and borrow magic? Or how does, what is going on? Catalyst magic. What does that mean? Okay, it's like Monoma from My Hero Academia. But she doesn't have her own magic. She can only borrow magic from others. Oh. The Eye of the Midnight Sun. I see. I guess this does put into perspective the damage and devastation that was caused, you know? Some purple orcas, it looks like. It's not looking too good right now. Her injury from earlier. What did he say? You stupid... What? Like, well... First off, we're trying to save you. I don't know why you'd be calling someone stupid <laughs> during this pivotal moment, but... This is William. Everything that's going on after the fact, right? With connecting the magics into the peoples. So everything should be breaking right now, yep. Yeah? Wow, it actually, even though this is filler and everything, this is cool getting a different perspective of what happened during this, you know? Seeing the elf souls come out. I couldn't even picture it would be going on through my mind after such a great battle like this took place, seeing that, and then seemingly it ending. I'd be like, oh my god, William's my new favorite captain, that's my dude! And then here comes the dawn, golden dawn. A few days later, so did mom and significant other survive? I don't think so. No, they did not. R.I.P. Horribly sad. And this is going to be the doctor. Mm, this is an interesting storyline. I can't lie.
It is sad. It is a very sad, tragic thing that happened, you know? As we cut back to what's kind of going on in the present, there still is a little bit in the past, you know? I can't lie, I, even though I don't like Damn Natio so far, I do like his design. He understands the bigger picture. Yes, he understands what needs to be done. Okay, I, res I respect him on that. Even though he doesn't agree with it, he knows this needs to be done. Mm. So, a lot of people, especially going against Asa and the Roy and the higher ups, have a personal vendetta. Not a vendetta, but a personal investment into this trial and into Asta's execution. So, it makes a little bit more sense why people are so against him, you know? If I was a royal or noble and I lost someone to the incident that just goes on and there was a peasant I could blame for this, you know? I, you know. Okay. This is making more sense. It's making a lot of sense how this is uh, a part of the main story, but it's filler because it's just characters who are never, I'm assuming we're never going to see again or talk to again, but their, their little mini side story about our main story. So it doesn't change our main story. It doesn't change anything like that, but it's just, uh, you know, we get a little side quest, a little Han Solo, a little Rogue One type story about them. It's, I just, I like the way this filler is handled. I, I'm sure because I definitely used to watch Naruto filler back in the day. So I'm trying to think back on the Naruto filler. It would normally just be some side quest that had really nothing to do with the main quest. Like sometimes it was referenced. I remember like they would go to the land of lightning. They would go to the land of sound, the land of tea. And it was just crazy missions, you know. I'm, but, I, so I, but I just like the way they're handling this. This is my point. So, they want revenge. They want vengeance. I don't know about Cobway so far, but he seems pretty interested. So we have Doctor, uh, we have Dazu, and Cobway, who are going to be going after Asta. So that's what this arc will be, at least for now. Interesting. All right, so we're just training, just back to day-to-day -day slice of life of Asta and the rest of them, just training away. <laughs> you know, look at Gosh and Finral. The combo move. I wonder if we're going to see that. That'd be interesting. I get that. Go take a shower, I guess. He's sneaking in that when mother or sister Teresa's gone. Okay, I see. I can't lie. They're like in-house, like hot spring type bath. Don't be creepy like that, Gordon, but it's so dope. I would love to have a big bath like that, you know? Hey, his abs are going to be like a washboard. Okay, Miss Noel, trying to chef it up in the kitchen for your mans. Okay, that was a good kick, Marie. Out here playing kickball. Oh, because Marie was technically a servant of the devil as well, yeah. So I guess Ghosh and Finral will be here protecting Marie and we'll be able to see that combo they were talking about. Oh! Okay, shouts out to these little kids. Shouts out to these kids helping out. Especially we know after what the kids and Neen went through when it comes to Nij and the rest of them. Shout out Nij! Come on, let me see some snow magic. You better help these kids out. These kids stick together, we know that. The Devil Banishers. That is a funny name. Oh, now is this Cobway under this mask or who am I seeing? But yeah, Teresa would handle these guys like it's nobody's business. Oh, they're quick with it. Damn. What are you gonna do, Marie? I think she honestly has to, like, not sacrifice herself, but surrender so they can leave everyone alone. Just take me. Shouts out to the parents. Trying to do what they can. 
<laughs> they just tied him and rope left him there. <laughs> interesting, interesting. All right, let's go save the sister. Oh my god, 8,000 crunches? 10,000. Oh, hell no. Oh, they're already here too? So we're gonna get them attacking Asta as well? Okay. They're playing the damsel in distress card. Making... Manipulating Asta's friendliness, always willing to help someone out in need. But they're getting Asta and Nero in one fell swoop, so... That's gonna, like, knock him. Oh, okay. Yep, little gas bomb. That's the doctor. Asta is not gonna let this happen. <laughs> what do you mean, how gonna be so strong? This man's ripped. He's just brolic. Oh, Noel with the sandwich coming in clutch. Inverse release. What is she going to be able to do? What does that do? Inverse release. That's dirty. Sand magic sand screen. It's like a Pokemon entry move. Sand screen. Lower their accuracy. Yeah, Gordon's just pouring up a glass of water. Valkyrie armor Noel is not letting this happen. Yeah, shoot some of those cannonballs at him. Are they taking narrow though? Transparency? Share the same fate? What is that magic? And what is that spell? They're gone. That's how Nish wasn't able to sense their mana earlier. Boss is knocked out from the poison. I still need to know what Nero did in terms of the inverse release. I'm so curious. All right, episode 143, the tilted scale. So the Devil Banishers are back at the Devil Banishers headquarters. But by now he should be that poison in a deep sleep. Okay, <laughs> I mean, that's a good sign. How is Mark's gonna help us out with Asta? I mean, so far... Yeah, I was gonna say, it seems to be the poison. Yeah, it's a sleeping potion. They did say last episode, I think it was Cobway who was talking to the doctor, who said, I'm surprised your mixing skills are this good. Okay, he's just in like a little mini, mini, mini coma. Oh, that's why Marcus is in here, so we can search his memories while he's asleep. That's clean. I like that. That's dope. Teresa do be letting Marie get kidnapped a good amount of times. It's not that it was Teresa's fault or anything, but I'm just saying it's unfortunate. Like, get her back? Yeah, we can deal with Teresa after. We gotta go get Marie back. He literally just was asking where she is, so he doesn't know. Gosh is a little aggressive when it comes to getting his information. Yeah, tipping the scales back from darkness to the light. Which the scale part should let them know that it's someone related to Damnatio. Maybe, I don't know. He's the only one with a scale that I ever see. That's what, yep, I remember that from last episode. Oh, yeah, they're going through his memories. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, you should go deal with them. Yeah, what was that sound? Finral and Ghosh are here. Ghosh has his mirrors out as if he attacked Damnatio. 
Hmm. So the scale part made him think that uh, Damnatio was the culprit behind it. Even though Damnatio said, no, let's not do this, you know? That is such a strong spell. Your spells are just null and void. Non-existent. Yeah, the real double is such a clutch. <laughs> yep. Tom Nacho is not having it. And then Yami's gonna come in here as well. Tom Nacho seems very powerful. I would, I would want to see him versus Yami. Now that seems like a good match. <laughs> I don't think Yami knows about Marie as well. Only knows about Asta. Or, I mean, Nero, I should say. I mean, you could fathom at least that, because of the whole scale, you know, tilt the scales type comment, and you're the big scale man, you're literally the scale dude. Hmm, it's a good little lie detector test. He is innocent. <laughs> I just don't know how no one's put it together that Cobway's done this, but one of them will soon. I'm curious. Oh, Nozel. Okay, hello. What kind of details is he going to give us? Oh, that's what Nero did. I see. So she took it from Asta and put it on her. That is a good plan from Nero. I completely forgot about that bracelet that they used to track Asta. That makes a lot of sense. Meanwhile, Tom Nacio's like, hey, this guy just blew a hole in my... I'm no. This guy just blew a hole in my office. I'm not letting him go off that easy, you know? He's like, this is the second time you're having me delay something. Hi! Shouts out Nazel. I love watching him fight and watching him go ham. And in terms of mobility, he is one of the best. Understandable. It's good logic. More likely what it is, but I like his his answer to it. Alright, we are here. Tiuliu Town. Tiuliu. Kind of hard to say, I can't lie. <laughs> this man's like, which one do you want? I have 42. Literally every profile picture you can think of. Alright, so what are we going to team off into, into duos? Into pairs? So we got Ghosh and Gordon. Got the Silva siblings. And Wheels and Mr. Shits a lot. Hell yeah. Can't go wrong. Yeah. It does suck dealing with restoring an entire kingdom, you know? And dealing with the politics behind that. Who do you go to first? Who do you do this, that, and the other? You know, how many do you send? Obviously, they're going to take care of the nobles and the people who are important to them first. But it's like, come on, you know? It's like... So Yami and Finral are at the grave, which is, she's, uh, Dazu is one of the Devil Banishers, so. Normally when you get a shot like this and, oh, it just ended? I was gonna say, what is this, like a Mexican standoff? Okay. 
Well, I like the arc we're getting into. I can totally tell how it's filler and I could totally see that. But in terms of, like I said earlier, I like how it, they brought it in. The, how they're doing the filler, I should say. Because like I said, complete side story. But it, it is mentioning and bringing in so many of our characters about our main story and the different perspectives on things that have already happened. It's just overall, I'm really liking how it's done so far. I like the designs for the masks and the outfits for the Devil Banishers. I like seeing the different kinds of magic, like how Dazu has uh, catalyst magic, they said. She can take magic. Um, we have the sand magic. We also have the transparency magic. Like so far, a good amount we've seen. And I get their reasonings, especially us seeing their family deaths and their loss as to why, you know, they want to do this. But I'm just curious how this is going to end and how they're going to be proven wrong. Not proven wrong, but shown the good side of Asta and Marie and how they're not devil worshippers. But if they get proven the shown the good side and, and dismayed, I should say, or their suspicions disappear i wonder if damn Nautio is going to be there and is able to also see this because i'm curious and i'm curious how the trial is going to go after the training and after the spade i'm i don't know we just got to get to the spade arc so we just got to pump on through this if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell uh, don't forget to check out all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the Darius. check out that patreon early access full length four episodes links are down below don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them be safe out there have a great day dapper squad peace